The chair recognizes the gentleman from New York, Mr. D'Esposito, you're recognized for five minutes. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for uh, allowing this proud New Yorker to wave onto your committee this afternoon. And thank you as well for your leadership and commitment to this issue that is so important. There is no question from everything we've heard today and hearings that we've had across Capitol Hill over the last months that President Biden's failed immigration policies, his dereliction of duty alongside Secretary Mayorkas has led to an unprecedented crisis at our border. And now that unprecedented crisis at our border is no longer at just our border, but it's at states throughout this country, like the great state of New York. And what baffles me the most is that during the campaigns of Mayor Adams and Governor Hochul, they praised the fact that certain areas were sanctuary cities. They were gonna welcome everyone with open arms. And now, we realized that there was actually no plan in place to be that sanctuary. It was just complete pandering for their base. There was no plan in place to have migrants sheltered correctly. There is no chance that migrants leaving their homes, risking their lives, leaving their families, coming to this country for a better way of life, coming to this country to achieve the American dream that so many of our parents and grandparents and great-grandparents have achieved. They never thought they were gonna come into this country and that American dream was going to be living in a vacant hangar at JFK Airport. That's not the American dream. What we've seen is that there were no plans in place and now panic has set in. Just a few weeks ago, and it's probably the first and last thing that Mayor Adams and I will ever agree on, he said that this issue, the migrants coming into New York City, could, quote, destroy New York. In essence, the lights dimming on Broadway. And now what we see is you have a letter that many of you have referenced, a letter from Governor Kathy Hochul to President Biden asking for the use of places, national parks. There's also been talk of using military bases to house these migrants. Now, prior to becoming a member of Congress, I was proud to serve as a member of the greatest police department in the world, the NYPD. And I look back now on my brothers and sisters in blue who call Floyd Bennett Field essentially their office. Aviation, some of SCUBA, members of special operations, different specialized units within the NYPD who took an oath to protect and serve the Constitution, who took an oath to stand that line between good and evil. Not only did New York State and the democratic policies of this country legitimately take the handcuffs off of police and put it on, oh, I'm sorry, off of criminals and put it on police, but now they want to cut the budget. And now they have to share an office with migrants at Floyd Bennett Field. So, Councilwoman, I ask you, New York City is going to face unprecedented budget cuts. Mayor Adams has said 15% over the next nine months in agencies that are dealing with these migrants the most. And if this was asked already, I apologize. But what do you see, and Ms. Williams, what do you see as the results that are gonna face New York City as a result of these budget cuts and the changes being made in New York City because of the unprecedented levels of migrants because of the failed policies of Joe Biden and Secretary Mayorkas? The 15% cuts that are being, uh, being spoken about between uh, now and April will reduce our, our essential services, fire department, NYPD, the uh, DSNY, education, all the different things that we need to keep our city going. And if we don't have NYPD and we don't have overtime, we don't have extra patrols because we have a diminished uh, police force. If we don't have overtime for our firefighters, we don't have 
we have, don't have firefighters on every shift. And we have a very big problem with the migrants and their, their motor scooters with their lithium ion batteries. We sure so, do. And just, I don't want to cut you off, but just one last thing, because my time is running out. It's estimated that in 2024, and I believe this number is going to be higher, that it's going to cost the city close to $5 billion, with a B, dollars for migrants. And in 2025, that number is going to be higher. It's going to be close to $8 billion. We had a Homeland Security hearing, and I'm sure there's some members of this committee that sat here earlier. Those numbers are higher than their entire state's budget. It's baffling. And Mayor Adams is right. This issue, this problem that's been created by President Biden and Mayorkas is going to destroy New York City and many other cities throughout this country. Mr. Chairman, thank you again for allowing me to wave on. I yield back. Gentlemen, as time has expired, the chair recognizes the gentleman from...